Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com, and this is my daily stock signals service video for Tuesday, the 3rd of July, where I just take one of our signals from our membership area and set that up using our Elliott Wave indicator suite. So, very briefly on our membership site, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets for potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, the daily, and the 60 minute time frame short fifth wave trades on the same time frames and then potential stochastic longs and shorts on intraday i'm going for long today so remember simply click on long and in this we have uh, an image we click on the image and download the spreadsheet for today for the 3rd of july the spreadsheet for today looks like this this is 60 minutes so i've chosen the 60 minute time frame today i'm going to go for one of these we obviously have the daily here these are potential longs for the daily of the 3rd of July and for the weekly but I'm going to concentrate on the 6 minute time frame today and set up just one of these uh, to let you see how uh, the filters for the scanner membership throws out the signals and also how to set it up for a potential trade so let's have a look at the chart okay so this is our Elliott Wave indicator suite for the thinkers room trading platform it's also available for ninja trader trade station and multi chart so i've got so i've chosen esv on the 60 minute time frame here for those members that have our Elliott wave indicator suite already i've isolated the lows down here um, on around about uh, this date here on the 15th of june something around there those lows and then our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite has automatically um, labeled the Elliott Waves one, two, three, four. Now it's the fourth wave that we're interested in for this filter for this for the uh, scanner membership for those signals. The first filter is that the wave four has pulled back against the main trend, which it has done here. It's found initial support in our green zone. This is our probability pullback zone here. So if it if it if this support holds and starts to move away, there's an 85% probability it's going to go on. Make that new wave five high into the automated target zone here, up around about seven dollars sixty cents there. The second filter is the 535 oscillator down here. We can see in the green and red here the oscillator has pulled back now between 90 and 140%. So we, we see that uh, crowning now as we get the support and then that should start to move up. And then thirdly, the stochastic has crossed against our false breakout bar here. This denotes a really strong bullish trend, this yellow bar at the top. And what it's done is pulled back against there and crossed over in the oversold zone. And the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend. So we're getting all the stars aligned, if you like, got these three main filters, the pullback of the wave four, found good support in one of our probability zones 535 oscillator between 90 and 140 and then the stochastic has pulled back and crossed over in the oversold zone there so looking good we just need to set this up now obviously this is the 60 minute time frame so we've got an open today we at the moment futures seem reasonably positive so it looks pretty good uh, but we still need to go reasonably conservative here we need to make sure that we're moving away from that wave four so we use the 6-4 moving average high here. This is the green moving average. And this is our entry strategy, uh, which is reasonably conservative. So we're going to go above that or just through there for the first bar position or first hour of today's session. Remember, today's session is only half a day. So be prepared. If you're going to trade this and this does trigger, you may have to carry it over till Thursday because Wednesday the markets are closed, 4th of July. So 712 is the entry long for ESV. The stop loss just underneath the wave four there, 683 stop loss. And then the target, $7.60. Very, very simple to set up there. All we're waiting for is that move to start uh, for the open today, start, continue that move away from the wave four, go long at 712, and then we'd look to take profit at 760. Now it could get there today, but most likely if this does trigger today, you may have to carry it over until Thursday. So that's it, very, very simple to set up these from our scanner membership 
uh, area. We've done most of the work for you. We've found those potential fifth wave moves. This is on the 60 minute time frame for ESV. I've used the Think or Swim um, Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from wave5trade.com to set this up. Very, very simple. Uh, and that's what our strategy is all about. Just keeping those uh, set up simple, trading that fifth wave, which is the highest probability move in a trend. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day, a great 4th of July, and I'll speak to you all again on Thursday.